Hello everyone, my name is LazerJet and welcome back to a, another Model Loco review. Now this video is very special because I've just bought myself a brand new engine uh, to celebrate 100,000 subscribers on this channel. And the Loco I bought to mark 100,000 subscribers on this channel is this. A Hornby Terrier Stepney and what an engine this is because last year I went to the Bluebell Railway twice and met the real Stepney and I actually had the chance to go in the cab of Stepney itself so it's actually nice to own a model locomotive that I've actually seen in person it, it, it just it just it just it just feels right now I'm not gonna lie I did spend quite a bit of money on this I spent a hundred pounds for this model uh, and that's for two very good reasons one this is completely brand new i haven't gotten out of its box yet this was on the shelf all brand new not second hand because you know all the models well most of the models i buy are actually second hand but no this is completely brand new and also it's dcc fitted yeah. and also the reason why i've bought stepney to mark uh, as my 100,000 subscriber loco is because I don't actually have much uh, tank engines in my collection because the ones I've really got are my Hornby uh, Thomas the Tank Engine collection. I've got Percy Thomas uh, and right here is my Hornby Oliver. Um, all three are DCC. I mean, you can't, you can't really see Oliver, but I can ensure you that this is my Hornby Oliver. All three of them DCC fitted and I've even got my Backman Panya uh, collection. Um, but again, like, you know, I don't actually have many tank engines uh, for my uh, model loco collection. Oh, and I almost forgot. I've got this, my Hornby Peckett. And I've got to say, like, you know, these these are really tiny uh, locos. And I think Stepney and my little Peckett, I think, look very well together. <laughs> And I just noticed something. Obviously, it says Stepney on the side. But on the side of my packet, it says Henry. <laughs> That's actually quite funny. But anyway, let's get Stepney out of its box and see what it looks like in close-up. Right, so here we go. My first ever Terrier. Ooh, this is exciting. So I'll slide you out. And I'm really glad it's like factory fitted as well. So it's DCC factory fitted. So that's why I don't have to take this apart, which is a bonus. Um, and I thought, what better way to get my very first Terrier is a Stepney. I mean, it, it's, it's got to be done. I mean, Stepney is, is pulled out of the, the most famous Terrier out there. So I'll just slide you out. Oh, and you can see it in its little ice block. Now, I need to be very careful about this because um, this is quite hard to get out because obviously this is brand new. So it's quite a faff, so just bear with me. And I've just got to be very careful indeed. There we go. It's coming. It's coming. Oh, nearly. There we go. Right. Uh, we don't need the manual and stuff because, like, you know, it's already a DCC fit, so we don't need that. Um, oh, look at it. Look how tiny it is. That is ridiculously small. I think this might be the smallest loco I ever owned. So let's slide you out. And, oh, look, we've got little detail parts. Excellent. Well, there's not much detail parts, but I think, like, you know, this is fully detailed anyway. We'll put the detail parts to one side. This is the moment of truth, people, the moment of truth. So I'll open you up. If I can, there we go. <gasps> oh, there it is. Oh, I love the, the white roof of the cab. So just going to carefully grab you. Oh, it's, it's got a very good weight to it, actually. We'll move that to one side. And here it is, my very first Hornby Terrier Stepney. And the detail on this is phenomenal. 
phenomenal. I mean, if I can try and get like um, a zoom in of the cab, just bear with me. So if I try and zoom in, there we go. Oh, I don't know if you can see. Oh yeah, you can. Look at look at the detail in that. It's such a tiny little engine. Well, again, I'm, I'm a bit shaky because like, you know, this is like really delicate because there's just so much uh, detail on this. Have a quick look at the front. Let's just move the coupling a little bit. There we go. Oh, that is just gorgeous. Look how much detail there is. I am loving the funnel as well. The funnel looks beautiful. Let's have a quick look at the top. Oh my God, look at all these like separately fitted parts and stuff. I can see why this is was a hundred pounds. Well, it was DCC fitted, so it's gonna be a little bit more expensive, but look at that. You got the number on the side as well, 655. Let's have a quick look at the back. Uh, I love it in the coal bunker. Look at those windows. <gasps> I'm loving those windows. But gotta be very careful though. Like each piece I touch, it feels extremely delicate like i mean i've got big fat fingers i gotta be honest um but i've never owned a model loco as small as this this is probably the smallest model engine i've ever owned this and it's just so tiny but it's it's got a bit of weight to it. i think um i think it's this i think the side like on the locomotive i think that's plastic but it feels like there's a bit of die cast metal in this. I don't know where. I think it's, I think it might be the, um, the, uh, oh, what's it called? Um, the foot plate or the side plate or, or something like that. Um, I think that's made of die cast because uh, I can actually feel it. It's a bit cold to the touch. So I think there is a bit of die cast on this, which, which is good because uh, it's got a lot of weight to it. And it just, it just makes it feel more better when it's when, when when i'm holding a loco that's heavy it, it just feels better but this is absolutely gorgeous again like i'm being extremely careful of this loco because like i'm just worried that like the, the, the tiniest touch like a piece might break off i mean look at that i mean i don't know what i don't know if that's the whistle right there or or, or the whistle is up there um I don't know. I don't know. It's just the detail. The detail on this is ridiculously insane. Um, and I love the buffers. I don't think they're sprung. No, they're not sprung. Well, that's a shame. I mean, I can, I can live with that. Not everything has to have sprung buffers. Um, but I think what we should do before we get this running, I think we should put this um, on my uh, custom made station and get some really good close up shots. Right, now that I've got Stepney on some form of tracks, um, it's, it looks like, because it's so small, it looks like a narrow gauge engine. That is like how adorable these little terriers are. And I can't believe I actually found a Hornby Stepney for £100, especially if there was one as beautiful as this and DCC fitted. That's, that's just like an extra bonus. But for £100, is it worth it? I think so. I mean, I haven't even gotten this thing moving yet and I've, I'd have already fallen in love with it. Right, so now that I've had a look at this thing up close, I would love to see this thing run. So let's put this on the main track and give it a test. Right, so I've got Stepney on the tracks and look how tiny it is. I mean, you can't really see it very well because it's so small, uh, you can barely see it. I mean, this is the size of my hand. That goes to show, I mean, I've got quite a fat hand, so there you go. But that goes to show of how tiny this engine is. So let's give it a test run. So I'm gonna plug in my controller and uh, let's, say, let's set it to number 55. So hold on select and then press 55 and see if it accepts it. Uh, I think it has. Good, now let's give this thing a tiny little uh, crawl test. So is it gonna go forward or backwards? Oh, it's going forward. It's barely making a noise as well. Oh, that is so slow. I gotta I got move the camera actually and zoom in for you guys. I mean, look how slow. I think it's a bit blurry, I apologize. Look how slow that's running. That is ridiculously slow. Oh, oh, it's slightly stopped. Let me give it a little bit more juice. Let's make it go backwards. There's a little bit more power. 
Again, this thing's barely making a noise. And then go forward. That is insane. Oh, that is beautiful. <laughs> Seeing it moving, like, again, it looks like a narrow gauge engine or just because of how small this engine is. But it's, it's, it's so small, but it's like adorable. Oh, that is so smooth. Oh, that is lovely. Right, I think we need to give this thing a train to pull. Now, should we pull coaches or trucks? Hmm. Yes, Stephanie's pulling trucks. Now, I'm only pulling um, four trucks and a brake van. Um, so this is a five car train. Um, because, like, you know, Stephanie's only a little engine. It doesn't pull that much. Anyway, let's give Stephanie a little bit of juice. And uh, let's see this thing run with a train.
And there we have it, ladies and gentlemen, my first terrier, Hornby Stepney. What a beautiful thing. Now, I wanted to do a size comparison between my Hornby Stepney and my Hornby Peckett. And by the looks of things, Stepney is a little bit longer, but it's certainly a lot thinner than the Peckett. The Peckett is a lot more uh, shorter, but it's certainly more wider. But out of these two, I would definitely go for Stepney because I just love the colours and, and I just love the Terriers more than the uh, than the Peckett. I mean, you guys can choose which one you think you like the best. I mean, you can either go with Stepney or the Peckett. But me personally, it would have to be Stepney. Because you've got to remember, I mean, I met Stepney uh, twice at the Bluebell Railway. And also, it's made an appearance in Thomas the Tank Engine. So why wouldn't you go for Stepney? But that concludes this video for today, my friends. I hope you guys did enjoy it. Make sure you click that subscribe button. Follow me on my Twitter and Instagram. Don't have to, but the links are in the description if you want to. Thank you again so much for watching. And again, thank you so much for getting this channel up to 100,000 subscribers. I really do appreciate it. Have a wonderful day, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye for now.